anyone? You guys hear me okay? All right. Can you guys hear? Oh, wow. Okay, good. All right. <clears throat> Hope everybody has their... You guys have your coffee or your tea or your mimosa, whatever. <laughs> your mimosa to get through this. Oh my gosh, I spent, I was supposed to start a live a couple hours ago and I just spent some time going down. Um, I was doing more research and then I ended up down like three more rabbit holes and I was like, okay, I'm not even gonna go there. Um, <laughs> like what, ne what, up? what next and what else? Can we tell, can we tell that I maybe probably overdid it a little bit on the concealer today because I'm like struggling today. It's not a good day, but I, I figured um, let's do a live because I'm not gonna be able to do any of that in the next couple of days being out of town and all. Um, it was an interesting weekend. It was an interesting weekend. I had this post pretty much about, you know, it's impossible. It's impossible to, to do anything, especially on social media. You are putting yourself out there to receive the criticism, to receive the judgment, even though you didn't ask for it. Um, but what's happening is we got a lot of parents right now, their backs are against the wall. Most of these parents live in states like California, states like New York, where they are losing freedoms at rapid speeds, okay? I get that freedoms are being taken all over the place, but some places more than others for now, you know? Just saying. So what's happening is I have, and I've always had, a lot of um, people that like to jump into my DMs and um, ask for advice, knowing full well that I have already left that state. Like I left, meaning to say, um, had my husband and I seen other ways and options that we could have stayed in California, we would have, okay? We would have, we didn't. And so it took us a couple years and I shared that on the stories, the plans and what we had to do, freaking the sacrifices we did have to make because you will have these people that are going to look at that and call it a luxury, call it a privilege. And they love to use words like, not everybody can just up and leave. Not everybody is as lucky. And you're just going, okay. So um, what happens is when I have certain posts and they start off just for my friends online, people wanna share posts. So then you have to make a post public and when that happens, these bigger groups get a hold of your post. And sometimes they're okay groups, sometimes they're not okay groups, but the okay groups even have mass followings. And you get called all the names regardless. People are going to read something and they are going to interpret tone as they read. We've had that conversation before. It's never really the guys who do it, except. In this instance, there was one guy who was serious beta male. Um, but there's, it's typically women who will jump on these posts and they will read it very wrong. My post literally started off with, dear, <laughs> dear anybody that's in my inbox, right? Um, and, and then it also started, right after that, it said, I say this with love. And then I got into that I can't really help you, um, that if you are going to stay in California, you can either, I, I even gave some options, homeschool, move, or both, okay? People didn't like that, people did not like that. And how they read it, <laughs> I wish I knew how I sounded, because I already know how I sound. I know that I, this is just the way I talk. I can't help it. I got my, I, I hit puberty very late in life. My voice kind of dropped, you know? My voice just dropped five octaves and it just, it lasted like this. Um, <laughs> so I, I, I just can't control how I sound. It's just my voice. Um, but I was asking like 
from my point of view, and I shouldn't even have to explain myself, right? But where I was coming from, it was like, don't ask a person who left how to stay in, in just anything. Forget the mandates for a second. You're asking a person who left how you can stay. Makes no sense. I, I really should be the last person to go to for advice in that aspect. So going into the rest of my post, I just said, for the love of everything, get out of my inbox. Your problems are not my problems. Um, and then I went into those who are saying things like, well, it's only a matter of time that this gets to your state. Guess what? I'm still three steps ahead of you. If this country is the Titanic and it's sinking, we, meaning my family, are Jack and Rose. We are heading to the top of the ship to stay driest, longest. It's called survival. You are singing the sad song at the bottom of the ship with the violinists. Like that's literally what I interpreted in that by the people who are arguing and fighting to stay. It's sinking, okay? All of this, it's sinking. It's been sinking. Um, I don't have the perfect solution. I have immediate solutions to how you can avoid the fire tomorrow. Um, but if you're gonna ask me, does this mean that I avoid the fire a year from now? I'm gonna say, I don't know. I can't predict what's gonna happen a year from now, but I can tell you what is freaking around the corner because it's, it's obvious what's coming around the corner. So that's how I interpret those people. Yes, everybody ended up getting wet, right? The, the, the Titanic sunk, okay? They found the door that Jack could have obviously had room on, but that's another. The point being they did stay driest the longest and the people that did stay up there staying driest the longest had a higher flipping chance, okay? Um, we do what we need to do to survive, ultimately. We are living in one big insane asylum where parents are scrambling to run from a mandated, never been proven safe poison in a syringe and it's because the masses continue to give up their freedoms and comply that these tyrannical bills are being passed in the first place. So, and I put on here, so it's not that I don't care about what you're going through, but you are talking to somebody who saw the fire coming down the tunnel and ran. And if you think I'm going to assist you in staying behind to continue to get burned, like that's not gonna happen, all right? So once again, we were all lied to, we were all duped, yada, yada, ish. It was just about getting to higher ground. And then I ended it with Godspeed. I still had people that were like, this is snappy, this is rude, this is what, you know, and that's the part, that, that part doesn't even bug me because I'm telling you what. I was like, I like to take how people react, okay? And I love to put myself in people's situations all the time. So I'm looking at all the people that got really offended and triggered by this post. And I'm seeing that number one, um, well, sorry, uh, I won't go down. Oh, wait, should I go down there? First of all, no. Okay, so I'm seeing how people are taking these posts. <clears throat> And I'm seeing that they clearly have a laundry list of problems. First of all, they're not even realizing that uh, this took a lot of sacrifice for Jeff and I to leave. We didn't just get up and leave. And I've shared this many times before. It took a lot of freaking swallowing our pride and moving in with my parents for a little bit. And it just, it was not easy to leave our business. And I don't think you guys realize, like, I was doing pretty well with the wedding photography, okay? Like, I'm not trying to share my tax stuff, but I was doing pretty well. And it was great. And that, I, it took me years to just get to a clientele, like just, do you know how hard it is to get into the wedding photography business to begin with? Like that kind of competition? And then to get to a place where you don't even have to pay for ads anymore? It's like word of mouth stuff and that's how you're booking all your jobs? Like, do you even understand what that took? So then to be squashed and like being told I couldn't really stay there anymore. Anyway, I understand where people are coming from, where they are feeling 
like their backs are up against a wall right now because I've been there. That's why I feel like I can speak on it. I've been there and it sucks. And it also sucks that we're all in this movement together and there seems to be no immediate solution. And now I'm going to tell you that I'm going to give you a little bit of more bad news here because I really went down several roads this weekend looking more and more into why and how can they continue to pass this bullshit, right? Oh, crazy's on. We were chatting about this earlier today. And I was like, why can they continue to pass all of this stuff and get away with it? And we're going to keep fighting and we're going to keep going around in circles because it's like headed to a state near you. So at best, what am I doing? Well, I'm still keeping my kids from the poison. Because here's, I don't, what, what pharma and these people that are coming up with all of these stupid bills, here's what they don't realize. Once a human being is convinced that poison is poison, then it's really hard to convince them that poison isn't poison. It's really hard. And it's really hard to now with the censoring of it, like all the more you are stirring up a flame and a fire and all that. Nicole, I like that you're on. It's pausing on me. Hopefully that, can you guys still hear me? Um, wait, this thing is like acting. Funny and pausing. One second. Am I back on? That was trippy. That was trippy. Now I don't even know if I should say what I was going to say. Gracie, chime in with me for a little bit. Um, I, I, I know my platform's still private. I'm not trying to incite any crazy, okay? I'm not going to incite anything. But I am looking into something right now. And if there are lawyers or people out there that maybe can look into this further and kind of... Um, Help me navigate this a little bit. So everything that I'm looking into and going down right now keeps leading me back to the fact that our Constitution is suspended. Um, in 1922, it was suspended again in World War II, again in 1979. And as long as we are in a time of war, then... Um, the government, politicians, anybody that's like in charge can suspend the constitution. There's a reason we're in, in exactly. I like that she says national emergency. I am not once again, <clears throat> for my own safety and sanity, I'm not trying to incite or make any crazy claims because I, I don't think that there is anything we can do right now to stop what is coming and what's ahead. And this is greater than the whole vaccine issue and medical freedom issue. This is freedom in general. I'm talking freedom in general because we have to be taking different routes in stopping any of this. Many of us don't even realize the severity of this issue. If this is starting to stress you out, jump off this live right now. How can all of these politicians now, people especially that are mostly on the left with less like liberal, it's mostly on that side, be calling for things like socialism and like borderline communistic values and have no shame in talking about this stuff publicly. And Gracie brought up a great point earlier because she said, when in history has our constitution ever been followed? Maybe they can only get away with all of this stuff right now. Violate HIPAA 1000% because we can all agree that this is a huge violation of HIPAA period because our constitution has never really been followed. Look at history. We've literally been in war or in time of war or national emergency, like Obama called for national emergency. Trump has called for national emergency. What do you guys think happens when they call for national emergency? Not exactly saying martial law, but can you sit back right now and think about it? Are we in a very sugared down version of martial law already? Like. How does this even happen if our constitution has been suspended? 
We need to be coming up with better plans. I don't have a solution right now. I'm just pointing out a little bit of what's freaking just become obvious to me because I keep going down this road and it always ends me up in the fact that the Constitution that we love to scream out, it's against the Constitution, it's against the Constitution because I'm guilty of that. I scream that out all day long. Then I look it up and I'm going, oh, well, shit. Yeah, all of this stuff can be against the Constitution because it's suspended. It's currently been suspended. I want to point out a few things that are very obvious. The violation of these HIPAA laws. Me not only getting into life insurance and medical insurance and trying to understand that stuff, I want to tell you guys, you know that it took weeks of study to just understand HIPAA and violating HIPAA and what that entails. It is so effed up that I had to go through studying up all this stuff. Nurses have to go through studying this. Like everybody has to study this. We have to learn basic common sense HIPAA laws that you can't even like, I'm gonna give you an example. If a person is trying to sign up for a life insurance policy with me and now what a lot of people don't get is that there's a system called the MIB. It's not the men in black. It's the Medical Information Bureau. And you think that your information is sacred between you and your doctor because you've been promised that. You know that insurance companies have every right to go into your entire medical history to determine whether you're worth insuring or not. And that is both life and health. But before they can do that, they need to get your signature of approval before they can even contact your doctor to seeing if that's okay that they look up your information. Did you know, um, because I have friends that are also in just the medical industry, how many steps they have to take so that they do not go against HIPAA and OSHA laws? Um, I'm talking about friends that are working with the AIDS, HIV, epidemi epidemiology departments where they're doing free testing and services like for the CDC. It's basically human test subjects and they're not allowed to disclose any of this information at all, even if the person is already volunteering their freaking life for these tests. If the state even comes in and and, and for social security purposes, they are not allowed to disclose this information because it is a violation against HIPAA. And, and it's plain and simple. I would be able to be fined $50,000 to $100,000 in, in, in money that I would owe and up to five years in prison if I accidentally violated HIPAA law, okay? These offenses can get ridiculous. And this is for like, basic okay now you tell me then that if doctor to doctor they're not allowed to give out patient information all right on things like infectious disease like they would need to seriously still sit back and go through all these hoops how the f can a doctor or a nurse contact cps on a parent that doesn't want to vaccinate their kid with a tetanus shot that's not a tetanus shot because their kid stepped on God knows what in the playground. How are they allowed to do that? They're not, and they shouldn't be able to, but these people, this evil goes above and beyond the laws don't apply to them. And you're going, well, sh <laughs> So the laws don't apply to them. They're, it's medical mafia. That's why they call it for a reason. They're literal gangsters and everybody is in on it. And I'm sounding, I know I'm sounding like a crazy person to half of you, you know, the half of you that I think are actually like, if you think I sound crazy, <laughs> we're missing something completely, okay? How can this be any different constitutionally People are literally rolling over and making themselves targets. So then you're going, how then are they getting this information? What You know what allows them to get this information? All of these exempts. Because we are voluntary, like we are, we are volunteering our information out there. 
by getting a religious exempt, by getting medical exempts, by going through, by, by the personal philosophical exempts, we're literally putting our information saying, this is me, this is my address, this is my kids, and I am not blank and complying and blah, blah, blah. And we're putting it out there on paper. That is how they get your information. That is, and for them, it's okay to get your information that way because you and me put that shit out there to begin with. This is, this is seriously, and I feel like this live was like, going to be my last live and I'm actually saying goodbye to all of you right now. My husband's over there doing like a happy dance because this is crazy. I know I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I'm very back and forth, but God, and you still have people that like need their hands held, you know, I don't even know what it's going to take. This is so dark. This is beyond dark. This is so evil. It's evil. It's run by psychopaths. Gracie told me earlier, she said, we have to continue to broadcast the corruption. But then, guys, that's the one angle that they're continuing to shut down. I don't have a resolution or a solution for any of this because I felt for the longest time that the best that I can do because I still have little babies and to me they're still young and and I still need to be their mom and I need to be able to like get my things in order first before I even think that I could help other people out and I don't want to be freaking labeled how some of these other leaders are being labeled like they're not even offering up real solutions they're still going to pass these bills because because I get it now, this is how they're gathering all of our information. And then they're labeling us crazy, they're labeling us unstable, and they're turning the general populace against us so that when they come around to being like, well, now we've got record of all of this, we know who these people are because they freaking put the information out there themselves, we're gonna just camp them up together. We're gonna now corral them and put them in these places and. And, and what's sick and sad is that the average zombie out there is going to be like, yes, please do that. Because they are so afraid, so afraid of mild childhood illnesses that they would inject their children with poison to avoid something like the measles, which comes with the side effect of the measles. We, we just, I don't want to sound like a broken record at this point. Um, this all completely violates HIPAA. And I don't know if it's gonna take a bunch of parents just continuously calling this out, but what's scary here too is that doing my research on the side and on my own, the lawyers that you mention this stuff to, they don't even wanna touch it. They're gonna go, oh yeah, that's a violation of HIPAA to do that but not with vaccines. And they're gonna be like, and this is where it's so incredibly discouraging because they're saying things to me like, yeah, not with vaccines though, vaccines are different. How? And then you're like, wait, can you elaborate on that? How are vaccines different? They're just different, they're just different. Like mm -hmm. nobody wants to freaking talk about this. And I understand why so many doctors and nurses that do know about this stuff just don't even wanna bother. I understand how so many parents don't even wanna bother, I get it. Um, I understand how some of like the riskiest podcasters out there who touch every freaking topic, who will talk about government corruption to this extreme, who will talk about false flags and 9-11 being a freaking cover up and a setup. And I get why they will talk about that sh left and right, but even they don't want to touch this topic. This is crazy deep that... that you can have people in the health industry spend entire semesters on HIPAA and you got doctors that won't violate HIPAA law to go to your other doctor and be like, hey, can I, they, they won't do that. They won't do that without getting a fax first with your permission signed on there that they can even call another doctor on a, on a, 
They won't risk it. They won't risk their jobs. They won't risk any of it. They won't risk getting the fine, getting imprisonment, but they will like without batting an eye, report your ass and all your medical information out there to freaking CPS because they know they can't get in trouble with that. That's how f disturbing this shit is. And guess what? It's all sold to you. It's all sold to you on that this is the good life. We have dentists going after this shit now. Freaking dentists. So if a dentist is now offering all of the shots, and this is all on record and you, let's say you go in for a teeth cleaning and then you decline the HPV or the flu shot that they're offering at the dentist's office and that dentist is having a bad day. Do they get to report you too? When you thought this entire time you just were getting your freaking teeth cleaned? This is so infuriating. And I'm also feeling like, because you know, you know that when these audits happened at all these schools in California, because I was like, how did they get all that information? How do they have all those statistics? How did they go into these schools and get everybody's medical records and all these kids that were supposed to be protected by HIPAA? How did they get these doctors' information? Anyone that had an exempt that was either a religious exempt or a medical exempt, those were red flagged first. Those were pulled up first by these auditors. They weren't pulling up the files of the kids that just complied. They were pulling up the files of the parents and kids that went the extra step to prevent this shit from their kid's system. It's, it's absolutely corrupt and it's sick. And I understand why my parents keep telling me like every day that I need to just stop already. I'm sorry. I know sometimes I really try to be encouraging. But right now... People think that we have these laws in place that are here to protect us still. And I'm looking for the laws that are supposed to protect us. And the thing is, there are laws in place that protect us, but not when they can be bypassed this easily by a big group of people that the laws don't even apply to to begin with. That's what I'm trying to get at here and why it's sick. There's the useful idiots, that whole like article that's been circulating that's like, we have to understand what they're doing. They go after healthcare to control it. Poverty increases, the debt increases, then they want gun control, okay? They want everything to be a very welfare system. They want to be the ones to educate your kids. They want to remove God from schools because you gotta get religion away. You gotta get religion away from the populace. You destroy the nuclear family, you remove God from things, okay? Class welfare happens. Does any of this sound very familiar to like what's seriously going on already? This was all apportioned by Garrett Greer. And he was saying the useful idiots have destroyed every nation in which they have seized power and control. It's presently happening at an alarming rate in the United States. It is very difficult to free fools from the chains that they revere. Because what, what my very basic post that I thought was really cool, my, what my post told me and the response that it got was that there's a lot of people that don't like being told that they're slaves because they don't want to admit that they kind of enjoy being slaves and they enjoy that other people take on the burden because they deem it a burden of... Um, raising up their kids, having to educate their kids. It was just so freaking lazy. And yet if you call somebody out for that, even though you're struggling with that yourself because you wanna just improve yourself, 
they're gonna just call you privileged. So it's just, because this is, the, this is why I even went down some of these roads, right? I was looking up the federal exempt. Um, there was a federal exempt where they, they were protecting, it's section 504 of the Rehabilitation Act. And this was done in 1973, okay? And this was saying, I'm gonna have this highlighted portion here. The U.S. Department of Education's Office of Civil Rights has articulated this clearly. Persons such as those with AIDS who are regarded as impaired are just as handicapped under the law as those who possess the physical limitations that arise from actual impairment. Discrimination based solely on the fear of contagion is discrimination based on handicap when the impairment has that effect on others. Under this law, Children with illnesses like HIV slash AIDS and hepatitis B cannot legally be excluded from school for fear of contagion. Exclusion of a healthy unvaccinated child also is based on fear of contagion and likewise is impermissible, which means that you cannot deny the education not going to go down that dark road right now because it's not real fucking education, sorry. But you can't deny that education to an unvaccinated child based on fear of contagion. That is listed on Section 504. That is a federal law that apparently doesn't apply and just could be removed and erased from states like New York, Maine just got rid of their stuff, like California. You can't exclude a child without notice and opportunity to, to object. This is what's tripping me out right now. So I'm here thinking, well, we were protected. It's in our constitution and you can't go against it. But then I'm now like, wait. So... If any of you out there have more information on this kind of stuff that is actually, because you could see I'm definitely frustrated. I wanna say we have to go about this the legal way, definitely. It's not that I don't think that the protests, and what the protests are doing is it is waking more and more people up. It's causing innocent bystanders who are walking around, trotting along thinking, you know, Vaccines are great, they save lives and polio and all that. Like it's just causing them to have a conversation to own up to the fact that they were not taught uh, the right way, the real way. It's going to bring them to these realizations. So I definitely am not downplaying any of this stuff. God knows, I mean, I'm even a part of this, these little mini crusades left and right to begin with. But I did hit that frustration point. And what's, what's sad is, because I said, why is there so much turmoil within the movement? Why are people attacking each other? Why are we turning to each other to attack each other and not the powers that be? Um, and that was really disheartening because that was happening a lot. It's been happening a lot, but a lot last week, especially. Words were being thrown left and right. And I was going, okay, I get it. People are just feeling cornered, afraid. They have no resolution. And so naturally they're turning to others in this movement and they're going, well, it must be their fault then. They are, they've like, this is what we're doing. And, and so this is my point in saying, I was trying to sympathize and understand like where this other party is coming from and where all of this like anxiety and, and stress and hate is. And, and this is absolutely effed man, because there's really not a big, Resolution to this. You haven't? Well, that's good. That's good if you haven't been witness to a lot. Because I try to stay away from a lot of the internal drama um, as much as I can. But when people do, it depend, I guess it's per, it boils down also to personality types. Like when I feel helpless, alone, and afraid, I'm not looking to, I'm not going like, who the, who amongst me that's also suffering can I blame um, cause there are people 
to which the law does not apply. And you tell that to somebody and they will call you a conspiracy theorist. Even though they'll tell you all day long, nobody's allowed to live in Antarctica, it's inhabitable, you can't live there, da 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 da, da. But then like there's Rothschild Island is on Antarctica. And then, and then we're sitting back going, well, except them, I guess. <laughs> except those guys, they can. <clears throat> so, so this puts me at a little bit of a halt. And I think we need to get bigger key players involved that can at the very least sum up what the is happening here. And you think that if enough of these parents sat back and went and kept kept pushing at you guys, it is it is it or is it not a violation of HIPAA? Where are the le where are the leaders? And when I say leaders, I'm talking politicians. I'm talking people. What 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 are the fine lines? Tell me why then. Tell me why. With all of these other examples I gave you, HIPAA applies. But tell me why in this instance, it doesn't apply. And that my kids and their medical history and my personal history is no longer sacred to myself and my family. It's just no longer sacred and it actually can involve people in blue costumes coming to my door with guns and knocking on here trying to like destroy my family. Well, and it's FERPA. Someone saying off topic, I'm so interested in the, actually I was gonna spend today talking about the whole vasectomy thing. Um, and, oh wait, one second. I was gonna do that, but a lot of people are not gonna like my responses to that one as well. Because ultimately, we're all looking for like, well, then what's the best kind of birth control? What's the best kind of solution? You guys, we're in a freaking messed up society generation right now where if I tell you that children are a blessing, that's what God called them, right? Children are a blessing. They should have always been viewed as a blessing. I'm going to offend everybody or a bunch of people. Who are like, yeah, okay, I get it. I love kids. Kids are a blessing, but I don't want 10 of them. Okay. And I'm not going to judge you if you don't want 10 of them. But children are a blessing. And nowadays, when you got one in eight women who can't have kids, you are lying to yourself if you're telling yourself that it's not a blessing. You know, if you're a mother that's like trying to not have children because you don't want to have another kid, you are like considered in one of those top percentiles of like, wow, that's amazing. And some would consider what you're saying by you not wanting to have kids or try to prevent having kids to be bragging because we are approaching a time in our history where we got close to 7 million women right now. 7 million women who know that they can't have kids. Who, that means that they've wanted to have kids, they've tried for many years, and they can't. We're not even talking about the millions of other women right now who will not be able to have kids and they don't even know it yet. Okay, this is, so, so going down the vasectomy thing, I was gonna start it off by saying, hashtag no judging, just saying. But we cannot tell <clears throat> anybody what to do with their own bodies. And we have a lot of women who have this very hoity-toity thing about them with well, I had all these kids and that's the attitude. I mean, I'm guilty of it too. Cause I was like, wow, I'm pregnant again for the third time now. And then I looked to my husband and I was like, we better talk now about this vasectomy thing. You cannot force any human being to undergo a procedure that comes with risks. That includes your husband. It really does. Just like they can't force you to take birth control. Just like if I said at the end of all of this, look guys, we're really better off freaking educating our children because it's impossible to educate anybody else who's gonna just think you're judging them. Um, that literally, man, you need to pick your partners wisely, big time. Don't sleep with it. How about don't sleep with anybody that you don't want to potentially be raising up kids with and they're gonna look at you and be like, how dare you? Bro, that's a big key player answer in all this. And many of us, it's too late. So I don't wanna be like, 
I'm just the bearer of bad news all day long, aren't I? Because if you saw some of these responses, which I screenshot and saved, all right, it's not encouraging, you guys. Um, look at all this. All these here were responses to the vasectomy thing, okay? And I had to, sh I had to save them. You know why? Because it's very half and half. Half, pe half of the people are telling me that everything was great. It's been a couple years. So far, so good. A lot of those were like, so far, so good. That was half. The other half were some messed up stories that I'm going, I think guys, every guy needs to see both sides of this. They need to hear from men that are experiencing great stuff, benefits, and then they need to hear from all of the other really terrible side effects that a lot of people have reported. Because if you try to Google it, the good stuff isn't going to, I mean, it's all going to be the good stuff, right? Like the, all the bad is not going to pop up first. And I think that every guy need. oh my God, did you just talk about circumcision right now? Way to, way to make me, I'm not going to go down that road because I'm going to lose literally everyone. And it doesn't matter at this point, who cares? It's probably better for me that I just like lose out on whoever because I'm, I'm about to just run away. Um, it's a huge discussion and I will do another live where we will share some of these stories and I'll talk about both sides and what people have said. But in the meantime, in the meantime, it is a procedure that comes with a lot of risks that clearly does not work. Don't, don't get, okay. So here's why my live is starting way, so way late anyway, to begin with, because I was on the phone with Gracie for hours. It was a great talk. But we started off on like corruption on one end and just ended up with like trickle effect. Like she sent me down a few rabbit holes and then I sent her down a few rabbit holes and now we're just coming together. Um, we need to collectively come together and get some solutions here. And I'm sorry if you're like, God, I wasted all my time. She doesn't have a solution. Well, first of all, I never promised you a solution, but I am showing you other corrupt avenues as to why, because we are sitting back saying, wait, aren't these laws in place? Shouldn't I be protected? And I'm going, yeah. And then I'm seeing why, because if you cannot sit back right now, and see this corruption for what it is and that they keep getting away with it and why they keep getting away with it, then, then it's freaking pointless. It's pointless to even research this stuff to begin with. They get to continue to get away with it because the laws don't apply to them because they're psychos and the psychos run the show. That's fine island. Uh, since that's a thing, I know. Okay, I'm mean, looking through. We, I know. We all got to do a, a hangout. I, you, you know, these woke woke people hangouts definitely is probably the only way to like keep my mind straight nowadays. That and the whole being made love to several times a week. <laughs> <laughs> Always like to throw that in there. Jesus, come quick and save us. You guys, this is why things have been so unsettled. Look, I was tossing and turning all night. I mean, I woke up at like three and it didn't, I just couldn't, I was so not rested. I was not at rest because of how we're being painted out right now. If you follow timelines of history and how they were able to corral groups of people that we now, when we look back at it, go, that was complete. Completely effed. You look at how they did it, and they did it because the general populace was so easily manipulated and brainwashed to allowing it to happen, and then generations later, they were like, oh, shit, that was kind of actually really fun that we did that, huh? That was really messed. But like, I don't have the time to wait for the zombies to apologize and their future generations to apologize later 
for what's actually happening right now. And what's happening right now is we are being grouped and corralled whether you like it or not. We're being corralled. We're being, we're, we're pitting against each other, okay? We're being labeled. And here are some of our labels. Threat to society. Domestic terrorist. Unstable. Dangerous. Enough of that comes to play. Enough of that gets put out there on the newspapers and the media and on, you know what? It is not going to surprise the general populace when they're going, well, why are all these people now being corralled and put into these camps and these whatever to begin with? Oh yeah, because they were a detriment to society and it's a good thing that they're doing this to these people. It's a good thing. And we're the parents, we're the parents, ironically, that are trying our damned hardest to keep the poison away from our children. And the censorship. And this is why I'm feeling unease. And I think a lot of you are feeling unease. It's not just me. We're all who are awake to this feeling very, very uncomfortable and with good reason. How do you help people that don't want to help themselves? It's virtually impossible. And then how do you help people that don't even see the problem and would likely be the first to report your ass? All of this in history, all of these very dark, depressing moments that happened in history where people got corralled, where people like where that many people were able to be freaking eradicated and, why, and you're going, how, how did that happen? Like, did ev was everybody just evil? Was everybody evil? No, but how do you think that was happened? It was reported on and then this is what's sick and this is where the pit comes into my stomach. We're freaking reporting ourselves. We're volunteering the damn information ourselves by being fucking compliant. We're going the extra step to giving them our information. And social media and all, you guys see this, the shadow banning that's happening? Well, look, if you're gonna take the time to come in and shadow ban my freaking account, why not just delete my account? Oh, they don't wanna delete my fucking account because my account helps them gather more information, doesn't it? Call me paranoid, call me all the damn names you wanna call me, I don't even care. But they're really gonna go all these extra steps to shadow ban people, to like just censor. Why not just delete off who you don't like? Why don't you just delete off who you don't like? FBI, CIA, whoever listens in, like Facebook, whoever's bought. Why aren't you just saying, well, it, cause they can't quite yet. They need us for gathering information, don't they? And this shit's probably glitching, I'm, par I'm, I'm sure. Some of us just want to be left the fuck alone, okay? We just want to be left alone. That's the reality. They don't want you to know that you have it in you to do this. They don't want you to know that you've had it in you all along. They don't want you to see what they're doing to further destroy the nuclear family. They Think about it. You put a picture online of you and your family and that you look happy, even though everyone knows that it's not happy all day long. Like everybody knows that every marriage has its problems. Every family has its problems. We get that. We should get that. But watch the response. Okay. That's how sick all of this is. I'm posting up about how troubling it was and how freaking many sacrifices it took for my family to get to where we are today, which isn't freaking far where I still think I've got a long road to go and I'm still not perfect and I'm still like climbing up this freaking battle, uphill battle. And you will have people that respond to that shit and say, that sounds fucking privileged. 
she's bragging. She's freaking putting it in our faces. Like, way to put it in our faces that you're perfect and we're not. Oh, my God. Oh, my. That's, that's the response from these zombies. Isn't that sick? Because why? Society will only celebrate brokenness and broken homes right now. We're not celebrating anything that looks intact, period. Everything needs to be broken. Because how dare you? How dare you broadcast that like, you be, You know, it's crazy. It is really crazy. And I, I should have learned this like many, many years ago. I should have learned this before I even started talking about vaccines. I had a post where I posted up like how happy I was. I was like happy anniversary to my parents for 25 years of marriage, okay? And they're, I, they're on like 30, they're past 35 right now. But I was like, yay, for my parents. I literally had people jump on there and were like, were like, hey, just letting you know, this is a little bit insensitive because so many of us, like so many of us don't have parents that are still together. Like, oh my God, I was called insensitive <laughs> for being proud and happy that my parents made it to 25 years of marriage. I'm telling you, that's, that's, who you're trying to like save and protect and defend. Oh man, what a waste of damn time. What a waste of time. Futile to begin with. People that will see that. And instead of being like, oh yeah, there's a point there. Or I wonder if I did this. Or I wonder if I went that extra mile and did that. No, they're not taking the time to do that shit. They're seeing that post and being like, oh my gosh, look at, look at this. She, she thinks she's better than me. It's absolutely deranged. It's so deranged. <sighs> and I think they're depending on that. They're depending on people being victims. I can't even go down all the rabbit holes I want to go down and talk about all the topics I want to go down because of the freaking backlash. When really all it is is to be like, here I am, I'm broken, I'm full of error, I'm full of mistakes, I'm not perfect, but here's, look at this, this, this seems to be a little bit of light at the end of a very, very dark tunnel and you like can't even go down that road with people because they can't even lift themselves up from their freaking, it's crazy, it's crazy. I like, I can't even share my flaws without, and then I'm going, none of that shit's even worth it. Like it's not worth it. But anyway, well, but anyway, da -da -da. look up this stuff. Cause I feel like, I feel like um, there's a reason I keep getting pushed back into this, down, down this road of the fact that like, this stuff suspended, right? So that's probably why. Cause I'm not, I'm, I'm just bracing, I'm like bracing myself for what's happening next, um, which is, you guys, if the freaking dentist is offering this, come on, trust that it's only a matter of time before the chiropractors offer it, before everybody starts offering it, you could literally get it like, Amazon is going to come with a deliver, like, instead of offering, hey, do you want to add this to your package? It's going to be like, we noticed that you are not up to date. Would you like to add this where a nurse who delivers your package can like also, I'm telling you, then, 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 then look it up. They're already trying to like link and join forces with these companies like FedEx or was it UPS <laughs> that were like talking about having like nurses deliver this to your homes. None of it, none of it makes any sense. It's freaking, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Why won't lawyers touch this? And then their reasonings are just that vaccines are different. Vaccines are different. I just can't touch this. Like, aside from educating the public, is the only resolve to any of this civil war? Really? How would we do this? How do you overthrow corruption? What needs to happen? 
I'm not calling for war. And I'm going to selfishly, and it's going to sound very selfish and very cowardice of me, but I'm telling you, I'm still a mom that wants to like enjoy her life and enjoy her kids. But my only hope some of these days is that I just can help ignite that fire under the potential Neo out there. Like we need, we need Neos. Okay. We need the Neos out there that, um, that if, if, if we can find them and light that fire in them, then they can like go, they can go for a second. Cause I just want to like enjoy my life and enjoy my kids. I know that sounds terrible, right? Like, will you be in the front lines? Well, front lines, I don't know, but I would love if like this message got to Braveheart, got to the Braveheart person, you know, that would be nice. That's where I'm at right now. And you can call it cowardice if you want. But some days I have to get to points where I'm like, I need to just remind myself why I want to live and, and be, a, and you know, why, why life is worth living and the fun in life and raising up these kids and, you know, so I can't quite be there. But then you look into all of it and like you break down, you break down what they're doing to our men, to our families and how dark and disgusting it is. And the minute you want to talk about one thing that they have done to destroy men, to make them so weak. And then you realize that it's something that like virtually every guy does or dude, you just, you're like, am I just, what, what, what's, what's going to happen? Am I just going to offend a bunch of Neos? Because actually, you're not a Neo if you're that offended by some shit you hear on the internet. I'm sorry. Plain and simple. Men, ask yourselves, why don't you give a shit? And then look around and, and accept. Accept that you've been duped. There's a cure. You got to undupe yourself. You've got to do some things. Why don't you care? Why don't people care? Why don't people care? <laughs> Eastern Orthodox Christians are speaking out against fact. Well, that's that's delightful. That's very promising to hear because um, I've got freaking from one of my one of you on here who I think you're still on the chat sending me emails back and forth that you're having with a rabbi and these rabbis are supporting these freaking bills like the bills that are happening right now in florida to get rid of religious exempts you have rabbis going back and forth with people saluting them like praising the vaccines and they're going wait a minute you're you're deflecting you're not even answering any of my email you know that's what's sick God, I have got to share that email probably after I eat lunch because you guys are going to be floored by what this rabbi's response was. Really, rabbi? Like, I'm talking stuff like this. And I can get into this in a second. Let's see here. Bring up this email. Look at this rabbi. I don't even care. Put his name out here. Thank you for your email. And this is like after she sent an entire thing on biblical, why she didn't think the vaccines were. And, and he's just like quoting the CDC, several states passed laws to remove these. You know, more importantly, no states require anybody to vaccinate. That's a lie. However, a decision to not vaccinate also comes with consequences. Like, oh my gosh, from a rabbi. This is what we're dealing with right now. So you're thinking, you're thinking that your religious views are even going to like save you. No, they're not. You know why? Because the religion of the land, the law of the land is pharma. Their religion trumps your religion, trumps all of it. Because this is some, this is some garbage. Pastors promoting flu shots. It's like, get out of town. I got to eat something. <laughs> We'll chat soon, you guys. Sorry.